Okay, this is question number 59 on page 172, actually. And um, chapter 7, Momentum. The question reads, an explosion breaks an object originally at rest into two fragments. One fragment acquires twice the kinetic energy of the other. What is the ratio of their masses? So we want to find what this is. That's what we want to find. But let's draw a picture again. So here is our before picture. <coughs> and then here is our after picture. OK, we'll call this like this. And uh, we'll call this one M1. And we'll call this one M2 and V2. OK, so conservation of momentum is uh, going to apply again. So we'll have zero momentum originally. And then we'll have, um, now, OK, let's just write this out because I'm forgetting something in the question. But that's fine. That's not going to change this. Right? Plus M2V2. Um, and now, therefore, I know that negative, I could say, right, M1V1 is equal to M2V2. But the question says that uh, one fragment acquires twice the kinetic energy of the other. So I'm going to write down Ke1 is equal to 2 times Ke2. OK? Uh, so n now, what can we do with that piece of information, right? So let's kind of draw a line here. And um, let's write down the kinetic energy of, let's go 1 half uh, m1 v1 squared is equal to 2 times uh, 1 half m2 v2 okay squared now um, you can see here that these two are going to cancel each other and so I'm going to have 1 half m1 v1 squared is equal to uh, m2 v2 squared okay um, now let me try changing this into a ratio so I'll rearrange this and I'll say m1 on the left and I'll take the m2 and divide by this side right and then I'll take this 2 and put it on the other side and I'll take the v1 and put it on the bottom so it becomes 2v2 squared right because the 2 goes to the top the v2 is still there. The m2 is gone to the bottom on the other side. And then the v1 squared is here. OK? So, so that's, that's the ratio, but it still doesn't help me. Because if you'll notice, um, I can't solve it because I don't know what the, what the ratios of the velocities are. But that's where I come back to this side, which is the momentum side. And, and what can I solve for this? Well, let's solve for V2. OK, so V2 is over here. What is it? Well, it's going to equal negative on this side still, M1 uh, V1 divided by uh, M2, right? Because you just take the M2 on the, on the bottom on the other side. And so now we have solved for V2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this subst and substitute this in for V2 on that side. So I'm going to write this equation out again. M1 all over M2 is equal to 2 times. Now I'm going to substitute for V2. And I'll say negative M1 V1 all over M2 squared divided by V1 squared. Now, that's going to give me negative m1 squared divided by m2 squared, right? The negative disappears, so it's just 2 times m1 divided by uh, m2 all squared. 
And then we have v1 squared divided by v1 squared. Now you notice the v1 squares disappear. And so now what we have is we just have m1 all over m2 is equal to 2 times m1 all over m2 squared. Now what you need to recognize here to solve this problem is that simply m1 over m2 is just think of it as like one variable like let's say x okay so essentially the equation would be x equals 2 times x squared notice if this is the x and that's x squared this is what it looks like so now you recognize that we can divide the whole equation by x well in this case x is m1 divided by m2 so this just becomes 1 equals 2 times now this just becomes, the, the square disappears, so it becomes m1 over m2. And so now we can divide both sides by 2, and we get the value we were looking for, which is the ratio of the two masses, and it's 1 half. So that's how you'd solve this problem.